The whip isn't a new Zelda item, but I think it's new for 3D Zeldas. So you whip and then you pull back on the Wiimote. It's simple. Um, it's really good for getting some special items. That's what I remember and mostly used the whip for in almost all the games. This game included. You know, not every enemy will have an item, but the ones you do, you'll just yank it. Whoosh. Alright, and now we can turn this on if you want. Don't really need to do it. it. Leads to a place that you can't get to. Now we're back outside. Pretty interesting. Okay, so where do we head to next? Simple. We head over here. You can you you think you'd want to head back up top on the or onto the right side that leads to those whipping plat well not platforms really, but you know those whipping areas, but yeah. We'll get to those later. Just come here and move that lily pad over. And hit the switch and voila. You can for you can go deeper into the dungeon. This has a very like I said before, Indian well, I didn't say Indian charm, but I'm gonna say it now. Or at least that's the way I feel it. It it might be something else. Who knows? Let's see, was there anything to decide? It was! Come on, 20 big ones! Yeah, just like I thought, because you don't... You don't give me anything else. Alright. I'm gonna be a spider tamer. Aw, oh, come on, really? You punk. Alright, well, Dragger can't go into the animal tam taming business, so, you know, no circus for him. Maybe, maybe if we run into a lion, it might work. Maybe. I mean, spiders have hard chills. Oh, wow, he was actually shooting bows. Stop that. The whip doesn't stun, it just staggers. So, you know. It's not that great. Ugh, he fell into the void. I feel sorry for him. Hmm, goo monster, and if I remember correctly, there's nothing else. Hey buddies, how's it going? Okay. Now we just go on a slightly little ride. Not a merry-go-round, but it's good enough. Could you climb up? Ah, oh, that's great. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you, game. Let's try this again. Up, 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 up. Good. Jesus. Alright. See, this is what I meant when I said this game is more so about the things that you do instead of figuring something out. There's a slight puzzle, but it's not that hard in my, in my opinion. Anyway. Let's see. Oh. Alright, I got this thing for a reason. Wow, okay. My controls are really bad, and I think it's because my mic's in the way. A little higher. Always lead your shot. That is the number one thing I've learned in everything. Lead your shot. Not just games, real life. Gotta get. Sure, it was close enough. I don't want... Okay, hold on. Let me try this. Boom, okay. No. Alright, now switch to my whip. 
The, uh... That one wasn't even, like, a test. I was just camera fuckery. You wanna... See, you're gonna generally get in any direction, so you... It's swing on the whip, just like swinging on the vines, you know that thing that we did that one time? Well, in that one place. Aw, oh, man, I could've gotten rupees if I'd gone down there. Do I wanna? No, I don't. You. Nice. Alright, thanks. Woohoo. Managed to make myself look like a loser. Good, good. So, it's always what I wanted. Oh, I have to go back down there anyway. Good, I can get those rubies. And kill those slimes because they're in my way. That's great. Okay. Don't want to fall too far. Hey, big guy. Okay, butterflies, wall indication. Booyah. You know, now that these are here, I can complain less about the lack of rupees that I get, but, you know, still would like them in chests. Let's see now. Eh, 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 there we go. Yeah! Oh, shit! That was worth it. Oh, so good, so good. That's luck. Let me tell you that right now. Somebody help. I'm drowning. Hmm, spiders. That's... Mm. No, no, S keep spidering, don't mind, don't worry about me, I'm just gonna, just gonna, no, I'm not doing anything at all, just stay there, being spiders, that's cool. I wish I was a spider, he lied. <laughs> that, once again, further illustrates my point. Like, I, I did that originally just to get rid of the spiders because they're annoying. Not because I went, hmm, how do I solve this puzzle and get under this thing? Well, either way. Did I just told what happened? I have no idea what just happened. Okay. Um, hmm. Give me. This one's actually fair. I mean, it's in a reasonable spot. Who can unlock the key? The guy from the other side of the door. There's no way for me to get in here. Good job. Too bad I have a whip. But before we do any of that, let's admire the great color contrast of from up top the dungeon where it's nice, golden, and sunny to here where it's full of death and it smells of corpses. Man, mood whiplash. I mean, I get we're already in a dungeon, but... Wow. Like, all the other dungeons just look like cool places that monsters just inhabited. This seems like a nest of death. And you know, I gotta, like, give that to a lot of other Zelda games in the franchise. Like, I really like organic dungeons that are just like, oh man, I mean, yes, all of them are man-built, but, you know, it feels more... This was taken over by the Earth, and, you know, it, it has that whole feel to it. This one, obviously, has that whole, we worshipped people, or that, that kind of, like, whole feeling going to it, like, oh. Yeah, I can't, I can't express my words, I'm horrible. Eh... <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I get, I get a sense that people could have, like, came in here to do some stuff, and, you know, when, when it left, the top part, it's still fine and pristine and all that jazz, but the bottom part's just gone to hell. 
almost quite literally. Alright, there's a bug. Right there, got him. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on, attack me. Or I'll do it. See, the thing with your sword is that it's... It's not... It's not always at the right spot, so you just kind of... It's kind of flimsy when you want to go up, and it, you're, you're holding it at a diagonal angle. So it moves at a diagonal angle. I remember right, there was a red ruby here. Somewhere. There it is. It fell. Good. Get it. Now be on your way. Uh, watch out for puffer fish. Piss off, fish. I can only do this now. Not on hero mode. That would be horrible. In normal mode, I can be reckless. Hero mode. No thanks. Hello. Goodbye. No, that's not the thing I need to use right now. I also enjoy, like I said before, with the first dungeon, I like how these dungeons... You know, I said they're straightforward, but I also mean, like, within their design. Like, a lot, a lot of other dungeons will have you be moving room to room, you do this room and that room. I don't... I, I really don't care for that. It's like, do this in this room to set off the thing in X room. Do thing in X room to set off the thing in B room. That's... Especially when it's, like, super far apart. I don't... That's not... Nah. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan. I like, I like everything to be self-contained in their own special rooms. I mean, like we saw before, we had to see the sign on the statue to figure out the special code to the dungeon. I, I said that's underused because, you know, that's like, this is our main hub area. This is the main place that we get to. You think it, that sort of thing would pertain more to the whole dungeon instead of that just that one room. It's not that hard to remember either. I almost messed that up. That would have been embarrassing. Let's see now. Oh. If I go down, I see a spider. A spider who can't murder me. That's good. That's good. Ah, spiders. A bada boom. Another 20 rupees. This is, you know, like... I said before, the organicness of dungeons. You know, I found this 20 rupees, and I found one more chest of 20 rupees. But I also found a good amount of 20 rupees just lying around, doing nothing, being bums. So, you know, I, I, I guess that's... Also trying to give it a more or organic feel to it. But, you know. Eh. It's the difference between, like, a dungeon like the Lanero Mines. Which is, you know, they're, they're, they're just mines. Yet, it turned into such a horrible cluster by the, in by the end of everything. And you need to let go and hold up, or you're gonna fall, and you don't want that to happen because falling's lame, and you're, you, you'd be a loser. And, you know, compared to this, like I said, which seemed mi built, are the um, Pharon dungeon, which also, you know, they seem to serve, like, 
the dungeon in Faron Woods and Elden Volcano, they're there to for the goddess and to keep people out of the sacred area part. This switch is a little um, so you want to hold it right and then you want to you want to either fling it forward you probably want to fling it forward most doubtably but like the Faron Woods dungeon and the Elden dungeon they were there to keep the sacred spot sacred that makes sense and you know the next couple of dungeons we're going to are to keep the sacred flame sacred the Lanero mine that was just something that we had to go through because it was in our way so you know organic in that sense because we got nothing from the Lanero mine I mean we got we, we got the item but you know that it, the, the mine itself didn't really serve any plot points it, it, it was just kind of there and we had to get through it. 